Um, talking about the Khmeric stuff, I'll be honest with you, I don't touch the Khmeric stuff actually. Uh, and, the, and the reason why you, you, you can make art and say it's selective, right? Because some songs just don't make it. I'm going for whatever evidence I have from my teachers, or whatever song remains from those cassettes that came out of the record keyboards, from those records that are still being bought. My friend, Oro, right? The Kibonan Music Venti Crowd, right? We're talking a lot about this stuff. And we come to agree this. None of these songs were ever selected. They survived. They survived the memory of people who at that time, like my dad and you know, my teacher, heard songs on the radio. These are popular songs. I'm not looking for critical songs. I'm looking for popular songs. Songs that maybe five top songs that you know Cambodians will know if you say, Can't wait, come on. Right? Uh Kumpi, right? All these songs have stuff in there, right? These are popular songs. So if you give me a list of five songs, I can tell you I know the songs, because they're popular. Now, of course, there's some erasure, right? And I'm not doing justice to the people who are selected. But you know what, though? You ask anybody who are the famous promoter singers of then, first place they're going to say is Since He's Wong. It's a lot of tears. Don't talk about Nibali. Don't talk about Lisa Wong. Don't talk about Van Gogh. You know? Only promoters know this. So you know what? When I, not to be combative, but if Westerners and other people from the West become interested, you know, don't be interested of just, you know, the songs that we have forgotten. No, these ballads, these song texts are not forgotten at all. And they're not a race. I mean, I wish to store a lot of stuff, yes. But before it went out, a lot of stuff still left in Mobile, went to Malaysia, to France. You know, people hid them. You know, when, when people were being purged, they didn't just bury jewelry. They didn't bury gold. They buried art. They buried cassette. They buried gramophone records. Talk about that, right? You know you're gonna die. You know what's happening. Can I reach for your leaf on the I wouldn't marry this no. Put that record in there because I love that song. That's the song I grew up. So I'm not being selective. Those people who pick those songs to survive, they're being selective. <laughs> they pick that song because they like it. I just was able to hear it. And my teacher told me, you should select that song because it's the reason why that person saved that song. So um, maybe somebody else can write a whole dissertation about all the songs, but not for me. Not for me. You still have the points. So it's the point that it's a lot of damage. It's another job, I understand. Yeah, it's, a, it's another job that is not interesting to, to, to understand that through your teacher's point of view. Yeah. I know, he told me that. He's like, yeah. you know what? He, he just told me this. Holly, they just hold songs. Pick them up. Kids don't listen to them. And I go, the group, you're wrong. I listen to them. I understand him working for 10 years. He's my teacher. He's like my father. I know. I'm not even all fathers are perfect. We know that. Pick a song he doesn't like because a uh, girlfriend broke up with him back then. He couldn't marry her. He's like, that's fine. I like that song. I'll write about it. And you use that selection of song as your data. Okay? There's a lot of approach in mythology. You know, give me that for 10 years of grassroots. I know I'll argue about it. What are your substance, what are your data selection and stuff? The more you stay clear in your data selection, you're saying these songs were selected by the performance of Cambodian artists who are respected in Cambodia and who still perform nowadays. These songs come with a level of integrity. And then when people ask me, well, you know, you gotta understand some songs are gone, right? Because you know they're selected. Like, I understand that. I think I understand that. I'm getting with that. Do you actually not without the quality of the song? It's about the popularity of the song. That's what I'm saying. These songs are popular. I'm not, I'm, the, the popularity comes first. The meaning comes next. And then understanding its place in the history of Cambodia's independence, that's where I'm on. As, as soon as it was. So, go ahead, that's it. That's fine. Okay. Another yeah, question. I'm going to go one more. Okay. I Otherwise, I'm done. Uh, I can. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, thank you. And uh, you can close this. And thank you again to Fabi uh, for this presentation and uh, everyone for coming. Uh, in fact, we have a small uh, refreshment outside, some steel coffee available at this time, and some water.